Hello and welcome to Family Day Maker Space. My name is Holly and I work for the Region of Waterloo Library. On this session of Maker Space, I'm going to show you how to make miniature winter games or winter sports using common materials that you likely already have in your home. So the idea is that you will create miniature bobsleds, snowboarders, and ski jumpers as a family and together test them out and race them down a ramp that you will also create. All right, let's get started. To make your miniature bobsleds, you will need the following supplies and materials. A paper towel roll cut into pieces or toilet paper rolls, craft sticks, a pair of scissors, glue or a hot glue gun and sticks, tape, and for decorating you could use markers or a piece of tin foil. You could also try creating one with tin foil and one with markers and see if that influences how fast or slow your bobsled goes down your ramp. You could also try adding some weights at the bottom of your bobsled to see if that affects how fast or slow it goes down as well. So you could try putting some marbles at the, at the base at the bottom or you could try using uh, heavy magnets. Other materials could be Lego or a handful of buttons. To make it fun, you could also find a little person or a figurine to put in your bobsled. To get started, you will take your toilet paper roll or your paper towel tube cut into pieces and you will first create an opening or a space for your person or figurine to fit in. So this might require a little bit of adult help if you're younger to get that started. So you're just cutting out a space or a seat in your bobsled for your little person to go in. Next step is to close the end of your bobsled, similar to what you would see if you were watching Winter Games. So you just take a piece of tape and tape up the bottom. So for this one, I am going to take my markers and just do a little design. Can be anything that you would like. Maybe you want to put your name or your family name on there. Or maybe you want to put a number on top. So your next step is to take your craft sticks and to cut them the length of your bobsled. So if you're using a paper towel tube, you could make this a little bit longer, which is another way you can test and try out different styles. So I'm going to cut my stick approximately there. So again, if you need a little help from an adult, please ask. And then I'm going to measure the same on this one. And I will attach it using white glue. 
or you could use hot glue if that's what you have and it does dry a little bit quicker. And I'll do the same on the other side. So I've attached a runner on each side of my bobsled and I found a little puppet to put in there. So now I have two bobsleds ready to race. To make a snowboard and snowboarder, you will need the following supplies. Some pipe cleaners, a pair of scissors, a roll of tape, and some popsicle sticks. To get started with your snowboard, there are a couple of ways you can make it. You can either use one large popsicle stick or craft stick, or you can tape two together to make a larger snowboard. You can do the same thing with smaller popsicle sticks as well. So you could either use two or four taped together. I'm going to tape four together for a large one. And that way you can experiment and create different ones and see which go down your snowboard ramp quicker than others. And then you flip that over. And tape the other side. And then you could make one with just one large snowboard like that too. And then to make your person or your snowboarder, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can start off with a piece of pipe cleaner like this and twist it around for a head and then maybe take a different color for your arms. And then I'm just going to simply twist it Oops. do something like that. You can make yours however you would like it though. And then our legs can maybe be something like this and then you attach, like pretend those are the snowboard boots and attach them to bring that up for the body or you could cut that piece off. takes a little bit of twisting. Okay, I've got one person ready to go. So then to attach my person to my snowboard that I've made here, And then this requires a little bit of tinkering to figure out how to make your person stand up a little bit taller. Or on its own. There we go. Let's just turn his head for you. So you might have to tinker with the pipe cleaners a little bit, maybe put some tape if you need to make it so that your snowboarder can stand upright to go down the ramp. Okay, so for my second person I'm going to build here, I'm going to experiment a bit and make this person a little bit shorter. So again, I'll create a 
head by doing that. And for this one, I think I'm going to do the legs a little bit differently. I'm going to cut that piece off. And attach it like that. There's my feet, and then a different color for the maybe red for the arms. and then attach it the same way with tape. So now I have two snowboards and two snowboarders ready to go. To make a ski jumper, you will need some construction paper, tape, some more pipe cleaners to make a person or two, some buttons or washers to act as a weight. You could also try making your skis out of craft sticks or popsicle sticks. To make your skis for your ski jumper, you'll take your piece of construction paper and you'll cut two strips the length of what you think should be the skis for your ski jumper. And then at the tops of each ski, I'm just making it rounded so it looks similar to real skis. Or you could try making a ski jumper out of your craft sticks as well. And then your next step is to take your person that you've made or your snow jumper and attach it to your set of skis with tape similar to the way you attach your snowboarder to the snowboard. And then I just put the buttons or if you were using washers or something similar and I just taped them to each ski. And there's your ski jumper, ready to jump. To make a ramp at home, you will need some large pieces of cardboard or a box folded flat, and perhaps some other pieces of cardboard to support the sides and end of your ramp. I have mine propped up against a chair and supported by the end of a table. Okay, let's get racing our bobsleds. Next, we'll try our snowboarders. You can also try experimenting with your ramp. So on the bottom of my ramp, I raised up the flap to make a slight jump. And lastly, you can try experimenting with the height of your ramp at the bottom, simply by raising it with some additional pieces underneath. Let's try with our ski jumper.
Thank you for joining us for this Family Day Maker Space session. Hopefully you can find some time together as a family to create some winter games or sports. If you would like more information about the Region of Waterloo Library, please visit www.rwlibrary.ca and continue to follow us on your various social media feeds. Bye for now.